I want to tell you about the three steps that you need to become more skillful as a therapist and counsellor. And that means being able to get good outcomes for your clients, use the research evidence and scientific base, and enjoy what you do. I've trained thousands of people over more than 20 years all across the world. And the things that I see that we do when we're trying to learn follow the same pattern. Three things that we do that tend to not help. The first thing that we do. I'm going to tell you the three things that we do that don't help. See, I just made a mistake. <laughs> and then the three things that you can do. Right. The first thing we do is we attend a lot of training. We attend a lot of training and we listen and we take notes. But that's all we're doing. We're not practising. And that's like wanting to know how to surf by watching the movies of surfers and going to the surfing competitions but never getting in the water. And when you get in the water, you get dumped. We don't want to get dumped, so we avoid getting in the water. So attending training is great. It's not enough. The second step that people do is we gather lots and lots of protocols and lots of tools and we have them all, I've got piles of them, we have them all lined up in the back of our offices. And how do you use that with your clients? How can you find a way to sit with a client, to use your noticer and to be fully open and present while your mind is scrambling for which thing you need to do next? There is an answer and it's called finding a process-based framework. I'm going to talk to you about that in just a moment. But first, the third thing that people often make the mistake with, this is the tricky one. We don't get feedback on our practice. We avoid doing role plays. It makes us feel good in the moment because our advisor's not given us a hard time about mistakes that we make. We go home from the training feeling comfortable, but we never, ever get feedback on our work. So those are the three things. Attending training without practice. Gathering lots of techniques without practice. And avoiding practice and getting quick feedback. So here's the three ways that you could use DNAB as a framework that will help you do that. And just in case DNAV is new to you, Joseph Cherokee and I developed DNAV about 10 years ago. It's a framework that allows you to use the evidence base of empirically supported ways of helping people change their behaviour. Inside a fairly easy framework, I often say it looks like we thought it up on a Saturday afternoon over a couple of beers. But it's much deeper than that. This framework allows you to think about all of the parts of a human, including yourself, and use that as a way of helping people learn and grow. So let's use it on ourselves with three steps you can do to become a better therapist. The first step, connect with your heart. Identify what you want to work on based on what brings you vitality and energy what really rocks your world about this job, this work that you do? Find a way to connect with that. And you can do that by following your energy. What gives you a sense of engagement? And notice that. And maybe you want to specialise in a particular area or with a particular client group. Follow that and allow your learning to follow that. Be aware of what you want to learn. What lights your fire? And start to follow that. Second step is develop a deliberate practice plan. Now here's where you get to unleash that advisor of yours. Your advisor is the part of you that problem solves and plans and cr creates to-do lists and strategizes and uses all that cognitive ability. Give yourself some useful advice. Develop a plan of ways that you can learn and the steps that might be involved and the skills that you want to learn. To le develop a deliberate practice plan. Now the third step. The third step is stepping into the discoverer space and being willing to practice and 
get quick, fast quality feedback. Now, you'll notice I've made some mistakes in the video and I'm going to leave them in because we need to learn how to not do things perfectly. We need to practice, make mistakes, get feedback. You can give me feedback and continue. So developing a practice plan and then stepping into your discoverer and actually getting good feedback on your work. This means doing role plays, practicing and trying. Now, I liken the discoverer to being like the part of us that develops an agency in the world. And I often think of toddlers. Now, if you're a toddler and you're learning to walk, you stand up and you fall down and you stand up and you fall down. Toddlers don't say, oh, that standing thing, it's too hard. I'm not going to do that. They don't care if you laugh or if they look silly when they fall over. They keep trying. And that discover a piece is really powerful for you as a learner. Find a way to practice, make mistakes and get feedback from people who are more skilled at this job than you are. So that means stepping into peer groups and practicing in front of peers who maybe have more experience than you. Getting supervision from people who have more experience than you. Joining practice groups like the ones that I run. Yeah, I get a bit of promotion in here too, right? Find a way to allow yourself to put down that critical advisor and step into the discoverer and practice. And then... Inside these processes, we've looked at the discoverer, the valuer, and the advisor. But now what we can do is we can step into our noticer and use that most important ability of embodied awareness, what's happening in our senses, how we get triggered by things, and being able to continue to do what we really care about. And when we do that, the two parts of DNAV that people often leave out, following how we look at ourselves and how we connect with our social world, we will change as we practice. We'll start to see ourselves as more confident and we'll start to be more and more willing to try new things. And we'll start to connect with other people who are learning as well in the social realm and we'll understand that everybody makes mistakes and we're all in that place. So what I hope you see is DNAV is actually a framework that allows you to understand the processes that mean you're human, those D, N, A and V, and the contexts in which they occur, yourself and your social world. Now what you can do is you can use the evidence inside that framework to help people use each of these abilities to learn I'm Louise Hayes. Down in the links below, you can download the chapter from our book, What Makes You Stronger, on how to achieve anything. And you can read some more about these steps. Or you can jump along and come to one of my training, or you can join one of our peer groups. Put your name on the mailing list and join one of our peer support groups and start to learn there as well.